Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to design some rope pattern brush. So today we're going to do this rope in a stylized way that looks uh, optical, illusional, you know, it's uh, more in a style that I, that I like. Mostly out there, there are like these really simple patterns, uh, really simple rope patterns, the geometrical ones. You can you can also check those out on YouTube. They're like more simplified than this. So anyways, let's jump in. Okay, first step, make sure that you're on the fill. Click on the fill and select the pen tool. I'm gonna click and pull it to the left. Something like this. I'm gonna go down, see how it bends. And I'm gonna click, press shift and pull it to the left again. Press and hold Alt and drag this handle to the right. And I'm gonna connect it here. Let me see how we can. I'm gonna press also Shift. I'm gonna drag it like this. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag this handle to the left. From here, you can stylize it a little better. Okay, we're gonna multiply this, okay? So we're gonna go to the effects, distort and transform, transform. I'm gonna create some rounds, 15 copies. And we're gonna go and push this to horizontal so we can see exactly what we are doing. So I got, I'm gonna make the distance something like this, okay? I'm gonna click OK and check this out. If you don't like like how it's basically stylized in between these, for example, here's like a lot of space, you know, and this zone, it's get more narrower, you know? Now you can select the direct selection tool from here. And if you modify this, for example, everything is going to be modified. So this is the good part of the distort and transform. So I can stylize it even better, you know, and get a better result. Okay, I won't stylize it that much, but so far it looks something like this. I'm gonna go to object, expand appearance. I'm gonna scale it down, make it more wide. I'm gonna create a new copy. So what we need to do from here, actually I'm gonna swap it from fill to stroke now so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna make this blue and I'm gonna select the rectangle tool, okay? I'm gonna also decrease the stroke thickness and we're gonna select one of the edges. So this edge, I want to make sure that I want this one because basically it starts here and you know this area is empty so we need to select one edge part here so i'm gonna select this edge here i'm gonna go all the way up basically i'm gonna select you know this line that i created basically this line now is selected okay so now we selected the space you know starting from this edge and going check this out to this edge and i'm gonna press shift plus m or you can go and select the shape builder tool right here i'm gonna press and hold shift plus alt and i'm gonna select these and this way it's gonna delete it i'm gonna do the same with this i'm gonna delete this blue rectangle so now we got this i'm gonna press and hold alt create a new copy and you know make it match this is the whole thing to make it match now i'm gonna select both and basically this is the part that is going to be created from the pattern so and from here i'm gonna press ctrl r so you can see the ruler here and i'm gonna drag a ruler right here see that i'm gonna select the rectangle and place a rectangle here i'm gonna press and hold shift also select this one press shift plus m and delete this part delete the rectangle and we're left with this one. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, check this out. Now it's perfect. So from here, I'm gonna select it and we're gonna go here to the, where's the brush? It's right here. So this is the brush. If you don't have the brush, go to Windows and select brushes. We're gonna drag the brush in here and we're gonna select pattern brush, okay? And click OK. Everything is good, click OK. I'm gonna select a circle, press and hold Shift, scale it up swap it here as you can see with this arrow i can swap it from field to stroke so now it's on the stroke now i'm gonna go to the brushes and click on this and voila we have now we have a perfect rope go to stroke increase the stroke and it's gonna be way more interesting you know we got a brilliant look at that it's madness i didn't even knew this <laughs> it looks really good so you get the main idea this is how you make a rope you can press Control c Control f scale it down. And, and I'm gonna go to Object, Expand Appearance. I'm gonna right-click, Transform, Reflect, Vertical. 
click OK. As you can see, everything is like cut in pieces here because of the pattern. You know, I just gonna press and hold Shift, scale it up, and I'm gonna position these right here. There you go. And that's it. This is it, guys. So yeah, this is how I make it. It's kind of elaborated. Maybe next time I, I gotta come up with a different rope, with a really simple geometric rope, which you don't need to, you know, stylize with a pen tool. So anyways, this was it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.